I am Anil Kumar. I have taken a transformed polynomial function and we will figure out how to find x-intercepts. The question here is, the x-intercepts of f of x equal to minus 3 times x plus 8 whole cube minus 24 is, is what? So, is what? We will figure it out. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So when we talk about x-intercept, that means the value of y is equal to 0. Is it okay? So we'll make f of x as 0 and solve for x. That's the whole concept. So we we'll write this as 0. And then we have minus 3 times x plus 8 whole cube minus 24. Bring 24 to this side or add plus 24 both sides. We get 24 equals to minus 3 x plus 8 whole cube, right? Now divide by minus 3. So we have 24 divided by minus 3 equals to x plus 8 whole cube. Now that gives you minus 8, right? So minus 8 equals to x plus 8 whole cube. Now cube root it. So when you cube root it, cube root of minus 8 is what? This side will be x plus 8. Cube root of minus 8 is minus 2, right? x plus 8. So x is equal to bringing 8 to the left side. It gives us minus 8 and minus 2. And that gives us the answer x is equal to, let me write here, minus 10, right? And therefore, option D is the correct option. Perfect. Go through this solution and then here is a test question for you on finding x-intercepts. The question for you is... The x-intercepts of f of x equal to 3 times x minus 6 to the power of 4 minus 48 are at. So there are choices given to you. You can pause the video, select the right choice, do your calculations as we did in the first part of this video. And then look into my solution, right? So again, we'll perform the same steps. x-intercepts means what? Where y is equal to 0, right? So substitute f of x as 0 here and then we have 3 times x minus 6 whole square minus 48. Bring 48 to the left side. We get 3 times x minus 6 whole square divided by 3 equals to x minus 6 whole square. That gives you 16 equals to x minus 6 whole square square rooted. So when you square root 16, what do you get? You have to write plus minus. So don't forget this part. And here we get x minus 6. Square root of 16 is 4. So I'm sorry. Uh, we started with 4. I'm sorry. So this is 4. Let me just change this. This is degree 4 here. So we'll do the fourth root, correct? Not the square root. Now what is the fourth root of square root of 16? The fourth root of square root of 16 is plus minus 2, right? So that is the fourth root of square root of 16. Perfect. So don't write square root. Otherwise, you would have got the right choice. I mean, the wrong choice. Okay. Fourth root of 16 is plus minus 2. Now bring 6 to the left side. So let me write here x equals to 6 plus minus 2. And that gives us two answers. 6 plus 2 is 8 and 6 minus 2 is 4. So 8 and 4 is the right choice. Correct? So if you would have done the mistake of writing square here, you would have got some other answer. So be careful about it. Right? So you could have done just what I was about to do. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you understand and appreciate what we did in this question. So you have to be a little more careful while solving for x-intercepts. At times it could be very tricky. I hope you understand and appreciate this method. You can always share my videos and write comments. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.